I don't think we met before, but I'm the referee on this field, not you. Stick to your job <laughs> and I will do mine. If I hear you shouting for anything again, I'm going to be penalising you. This is not soccer. Is that clear? Back you go and get on it again. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach from America. Today, we've got a really awesome rugby video, something different. We normally react to like a player or a team or whatever, right? Some kind of highlight. This one is a highlight of a referee. This one is uh, Nigel Owens. You guys have been saying that this dude is really good. He's like a legend of refereeing and that I should check it out. So I pulled up a video and let's see what this dude's all about. All right, guys, I do remember seeing him a few times um, in some of the clips, but I really don't know who he is. I've seen him just a couple of times. All right, here we go. The law is quite clear. The mall is formed, held up, unplayable, turn of a ball, no issues whatsoever. I don't think we've met before, but I'm the referee on this field, not you. Stick to your job and I will do mine. <laughs> if I hear you shouting for anything again, I'm going to be penalising you. This is not soccer. Is that clear? Back you go and get on it again. Please, Chris, yeah? What? Crouch! Give him some space to come, come down. He's a, bit, he's a bit taller than you, so let him come in. But you're tall enough, but not as tall as him. <laughs> I'm straighter than that one. <laughs> this guy's cheeky. Is that the right word? Hopefully I'm using that word correctly. Wow, this dude's got some fire in his words. I'm straighter than that one. Yeah, scored a try against Zebra last week. He's been kept very quiet in terms of getting space in which to maneuver. As Glasgow are going to have to do some running repairs to Duplessis. <laughs> wow. Well, you can't but enjoy Nigel Owens when he referees a game. The football stadium is 500 yards that way. Hey! That is very embarrassing and it is not needed in the game. And we have a wonderful, wonderful game of rugby. And I will not let you spoil it last minute or not. Now, shake hands, if you may, please. You don't want to? That's fine, it's up to you. Now we go back, we get on with the game. Thank you. When there's a rock form, the repairs for the if you pull that guy Captain over, that doesn't mean the ball is out because you have pulled him over, so the ball won't be out. So don't pull him over thinking you're exposing the ball first start of the and then go around because it's still a rock. You pulled here. him off his feet. So this, the rock is not is over. Through some of the, uh, he has to go off the ball himself, not the being pulled over by you. Good rules. Okay. I appreciate that it's just Teach a mistiming and nothing very dangerous and he won't deliberately try to do it, so it's a penalty only on this occasion, but you must be careful with the timing. Right, Tremendous sir. commitment. Yes, drink? Yes, sir. Well, there's no need to call me, sir. You're <laughs> from West Wales. <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> He's gonna give him a card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's like a ball boy, right? Do it in the cockney Do it in the cockney cabla, do it. And the footage that I've got there is you smack him on the head with a, with a scrum cap when there's no need to do it, is there? So the pen is going to go against you. You play as hard as you want, but you play fair, you play yes, within sir. the volume yes, of the game. Yeah. Let that be the end of it now, yes, please. Sir. OK, fair enough. <laughs> Have a word Respect. Once the ball is available and you use your hands to get it back, the ball is not. Listen to me, please, I'm explaining to you. Use your hands to get it back, the ball is out. Use your feet. No, the ball is a bit... Come on, listen to me, please. Time out. Time is out, boys. Yeah, but I'm explaining to you now three times. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yes, yes, teach him the rules. When the ball is available and I say, use it, you want to get that ball back to a long ruck, you use your feet, not your hands. If the ball is stuck in the bodies and you want to get it out, I'll allow that. But those balls are clearly available and you're using your hands. And once the ball is by the side of the feet, it is out. It has to be underneath the body. You tell him, Nigel. If it's not underneath the foot, the ball will be out. I don't care what it has been, that's I'm what I'm telling this. you. So listen, I'm please, I've explained this. you four times now. I won't be explaining four again, okay? Four times just lying in the way of No, he wasn't. He's He's fine. No, he, he moved. Uh, Christopher, thank you. 
The opposition feel like you're taunting them. I mean, pointing like that, that just doesn't come across well. I'm sure you're quite aware that is not acceptable and not in the spirit of the game. You do not shout when you charge down. We'll take it again. The charge on is now void. Oh, it's for the verbals. He's got to put a smack on these people. Get them in order, right? Got to keep them straight. Keep them in line. Make sure they don't go out of hand. Keep their uh, keep uh, this a gentleman sport, guys. No reason, no reason to go uh, to the playground on this one, right? Al, when you go up in the air, they can't hold you up there. You've got to come back. No, no, you've got to come back down, okay? Don't, don't, don't look like that. No, no, no. You, you're up in the air and you're staying up there too long. They've got to go up and you've got to bring you down. That's no excuse for you to take them out early. On this occasion, I'm just going to penalise you. Next time, if it happens, whoever's at fault will be dealt with more harshly. Okay? Yes, I know, but you were up there holding you up there. You go up and you come down straight away. That's the law, it's quite simple, okay? But I will deal with that issue. <laughs> oh, you're done, done. And yeah, we're done. <laughs> That's not something you see every day. Who's he talking to? Referee on the phone. Is he talking to the guy upstairs or what? Who exactly is he talking to? His mom. He's talking to his mom. Front rows on the two <laughs> captains, please. We will listen to Nigel. You have we to. We will listen to Nigel. You have to. Yeah. You don't like the scrimmage. This guy is funny. But if you don't, you're in the wrong position. Too. No, I'm telling you this. If you're not going down, you're standing up. The next ones I feel is causing the problems, you are going to go for 10 minutes. You've all been at fault and you've had all at your final warning. Is that clear? Yeah. Get on with it, please. <laughs> if you don't like scrimmaging, you're in the wrong position. Yes. Just, I wish it was a quotes book <laughs> for okay. Nigel Owens. Right. Right. You do anything like that again okay, like and you're going to go and sit for 10 Sick minutes. Book. OK? Just get on with your own game. Find. Yeah. You don't understand? How many times have I refereed you? You don't understand me still? I'll shout louder then, okay? I want you two to stay there. As you pass the ball and you fall, the tackle is fair, okay? It is not late, okay? And that's it. Back you go. Back, back you go, please. You go back now. You, you go, go back. back, go. You two, when the whistle goes, I don't want you to have to like that again. It doesn't look good, it's not good. Let that be the end of it, okay? So number eight, please, you. Not you. After the whistle is gone, I don't want any more of that. Is that clear? If I just beat you again, it will be different. Back you go. We've got to carry on. Hey! It's quite clear, no matter what your intention was, it's quite clear the ball is not in his possession and you've taken him without the ball. So it's a penalty and back you go. Thank you, that's the end of the matter. Back you go. <laughs> not a penalty, Scott, you know. I was telling you it was a ball because the wheel was legal. He kicked it out to the scrum. If the, if the penalties continue, somebody's going to go. It's not going to be like this all through the game. I suggest you go and have a word and then you need to get the discipline in order. Off you go. We agreed before the game that we get out here, nobody's going to be calling for offside holding on. Somebody calls again, I'll be penalising it. This is not soccer, is that clear? Go and have a word. Pride, yes, fine. It's been dealt with and I will deal with it. Thank you. Words here to Stuart Hawkins. Stuart Hawkins. I was looking at it, he was committed in the air, there was nothing wrong with it. Dive like that again and come back here in two weeks and play, not today. Watch it. <laughs> play from five metres from their own goal line. Oh. Mike Brown needs to walk away from this. You have to be careful. That might be worthy of a review. Yeah, have you seen it? You're both are asking very immature. Get on, get on the game with both of you. Off you go before I change the colour of it. Get everybody in here. Get everybody in here. Get everybody in here. Let's have a chat, is it? Okay, guys, but this guy reminds me how I treat my kids, my son, my daughter. <laughs> I'd be like, it's done. 
Go your separate ways. Okay, you're both grounded. He says everyone. <laughs> he means everyone, not just the forwards. I think he must be cold. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't make a big issue out of this, OK? <laughs> but things like that are not acceptable in the game. What happened here or what happened afterwards, I did not see it. It ends there. Is that clear? You're adults, you'll be treated like it as long as you behave like it. We're going to go back for the original penalty down there. Speak to me like that again, and you will take no further part in this game. Is that clear? The scrum was stationary squared. You delayed putting it in. That's why it's moved. That is the end of the conversation. Go back again. I don't want to hear anything more. Off you go. Cool. Let me tell my re you, you came from the side and it's apparently okay. with offside. Be very careful how you yes. come into the contact yes, area. Yes, okay? Yes, There's no need to call me Mr. Ref. That's fine. Back you go. <laughs> uh, uh, we have a timeout now, please. We have the front six here, please. Okay? And front six. And see Samson. And Captain, please. There. Yes. He's still suffering with that blood injury. The interesting see if he's allowed you have to done stay on. Maybe three, maybe four scrums. Excellently. No problem. So you can do it. Yeah. On other scrums? I think you were just being lazy and you were not taking the contest, you're not listening to my calls. We go in, we set up and we wait until the calls and when the ball is in, then you drive legally and we carry on. So you need to work hard on every scrum, please. Thank you. You can't get any clearer than that, can you, for Nigel Owens? And interestingly, yes, the both sides. he's only said it in English. Rory Cockett was there translating to his front row. 16 black, time out, please. Captain. Time out. So I, my mind was on that dude with the, with the blood coming out of his head. I'm like, is Nigel going to send him back to the bench and make him trade or something? That's what I was waiting for. That's crazy. Get, the, the sport of rugby is freaking insane. What's up with you guys? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just a little blood trickle down my face. No big deal. Let's get this going. <laughs> Captain. I've had a three penalties here now when the pressure is on. If I think the next one is deliberate, then somebody may be going for 10 minutes. I'm not going to start until you have a word with the discipline. Go and speak now, and when you're ready, let me know, and I'll start the clock. We've had about 10 minutes of the game. All the problems are with you guys here. It ends now, or you won't take part in the game. It's as simple as that. I'll give you the mark, now get on it, please. Age. Hello, Derek. There is no reason I can't give you that you cannot award a try. There's no reason why I can't award the try. That means I can award the trap. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First impression. This guy commands respect. At the same time, he he's not being like a, a dick about it or being an ass. He just basically follow the rules. And he's fair. He seems really fair. He commands respect. Not only that, these 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 big ass players, these superstars of rugby right, they Kneel to Nate Neil before <laughs> uh, before Nigel. Oh my gosh, this this dude. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see some more like this, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and don't forget to share this uh, video with some of your friends and and whatnot. Okay, guys, with all respects, see you guys next time. Peace.